Take a Leave that in. Romans 3 24. Being justified freely. How much? By his grace. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 5 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Galatians 5 4. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are falling from grace. You don't fall from grace because you committed fornication. You don't fall from grace because you sold somebody's money. You don't fall from grace because you lied. You fall from grace because you denied what Christ has done. Yes, sir. When we say somebody has fallen from grace, we are not saying he committed sin. What we are saying is that he has committed the biggest sin on earth. What is the biggest sin? The rejection of the finished work of Christ. So when you reject the cross and you reject the grave and you reject the evidence of his resurrection, you have fallen from grace because grace is a byproduct of the cross, the grave and the resurrection. So when you deny that, you have fallen from grace. So somebody says, what of somebody who lies? You fall in grace. In grace, we stand. We don't fall. We don't fall in grace. Even when you make mistake, you didn't fall. You are still standing. Having done all to stand, just stand. By whom we have access into this grace. We are in we, the only position in grace is stand. Even when you make mistake, you are standing. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. There is no falling inside grace. Inside grace, we stand. That's our position. Even in our mistake, we are still standing. Say, I hear you. Yes. Who is he that condemned? Who is he that condemned? Hey, who is he that condemned? I said, Who is he that condemned? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Who is he that condemned? Hey! What shall we say then to these things? What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who? Not what? Who? Who can be against us? Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. And whom he called, then he also justified. And whom he justified, then he also glorified. How many of you did he call? How many of you are called by God? How many of you are predestinated by God? How many of you are justified by God? How many of you are glorified by God? If you are here, shall glory. glory. Then the next verse. What shall we say then? Say to these things. If God be for us, who can be? Which things? What shall we say to these things? Which things? Predestination, call, justification, glorification. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against the fact that we are justified? Who can be against the fact that we are glorified? if god be for us that means the fact that he foreknew us and predestinated us and called us and justified us and glorified us that fact is the guarantee that god is for us that's the context the fact that god in spite of our mistake foreknew us he foreknew us yet in spite of the fact that he foreknew us with all our mistakes and shortcomings and our failure yet with that foreknowledge he predestinated us and in the predestination he called us and in the calling he just we didn't justify ourselves we didn't justify ourselves in us there is no justification in us we are criminals but god justified the criminal not only did he justify us in the face of our mistakes he glorified us so if god has done all of that knowing with all our mistakes knowing that we will fall knowing that we will make mistakes knowing that we will sin knowing that things will go wrong with us yet with all of that if god justified us and glorified us with all of that then since god is for us who can be against us who they bonnet him not is that english like that he fitting the bonnet. They bonnet him not. Eh? Yes, they bonnet him not. Bonnet him where? Whence cometh he? 
where where's comest he comest he from where who zima nangala leave that thing what shall we then say to these things if god be for us who can be against us he that spared not his son in spite of our mistakes in the dungeon of our sin he spared not his son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely he didn't wait for you to be a good boy he didn't wait for you to be a good girl in your sin in your darkness in your backwardness but god commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us greater love has no man than this that a man should lay down his life for his friends somebody shout grace 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 Say that let's push this thing. Two. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Somebody says, why is he behaving like that? If you know what I know, you will behave like I behave. <laughs> Somebody shall glory somebody shout glory somebody shout glory Woo. hey hang him on satire 